She may be the hottest belly dancer around. Literally, Belinda Tan dances with fire. It's a skill to be learned, and you know, when you have a group of friends, for me at least, when you have a group of friends doing it, it's fun, and then you feel like you've accomplished something. So you, you know, you you learn things, and there's a sense of accomplishment, and it's really, really cool. Don't you think fire is very cool? Fire, yeah. But what exactly is fire dancing? Belinda explains. Fire dancing, there are different aspects. There is really dancing, and then you use fire props as、um, like an augmentation, where there are like peripherals, and then there is fire dancing where fire is the main focus of dance. Can you show us what that means. So, for example, imagine I have palm torches. So actually, the movements are more like dance, and then you're using the torches to like basically、um, show off your dance moves. Whereas if you pick up a staff or a poi, you have to learn spinning or juggling movements, and the emphasis is on the the equipment itself. So not so much on the person. So for yourself, what do you usually do? I do dance with fire as augmentation. Like fire helps in my dancing as a performer. But unfortunately, because I'm part of a really great troupe, that is this one and desire and pressure to get better in like the staff and the poise because that takes like another set of real skills. So you really have to practice and learn to make it look really good. Belinda's been a performing artist for the past fourteen years, but she says that Starlight Alchemy is a special kind of troupe. This troupe actually probably formed together because they really like each other, and as in they, as in we, and they like performing, and they have some crazy ass ideas. And so, like you know, I first met my. This guy here, and his name is Josh. You'll meet him later, and he's all serious and he doesn't crack jokes and he doesn't talk to anybody. And then I've known him for like a few years, maybe two or three years. I can't remember. So I saw him at Born Fire last year's performance, and we we're doing the boy band thing. And he's like, he's this goth, very serious person. And then he can sing you every single word to any kind of boy band music that you can think of. And then he'll be like. Actually, I'm a little bit impatient, and I'll actually tell the group, "Hey, let's just practice now and do this, 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 and this and that." So I'm quite militant. How intense are the sessions? Are the the、uh, practice sessions? Um, when we have a performance coming up, it is very intensive. We practice for hours, but when it's not, it's actually. It could be good or it could be bad, but it's very chilling. It's very relaxing. So we actually sit around and chit chat a lot more. And then somebody will say, "Oh, let's just start," and then we will start, and then we'll stop and we'll chit chat a bit more. So if there's no if there's no pressure of time, the sessions are actually really very nice bonding sessions. Up next, Fina reveals how she was destined to be a fire dancer in Singapore.